Vaikra, Leviticus chapter 25. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto Yahuwah. Six years you shall sow your field, and six years you shall prune your vineyard, and gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land, a Sabbath for Yahuwah. You shall neither sow your field, nor prune your vineyard. That which grows of its own accord of your harvest, you shall not reap, neither gather the grapes of your vine undressed, for it is a year of rest unto the land. And the Sabbath of the land shall be food for you, for you and for your servant, and for your maid, and for your hired servant, and for your stranger that sojourns with you, and for your cattle, and for the beasts that are in your land, shall all the increase thereof be meat. And you shall number seven Shabbatholt, Sabbaths of years unto you, seven times seven years, and the space of the seven Shabbatholt of years shall be unto you forty and nine years. Then shall you cause the shofar of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month, in Yom Kippurim, the day of atonement, shall ye make the shofar sound throughout all your land. And ye shall hollow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. A jubilee shall that fiftieth year be unto you. Ye shall not sow, neither reap that which grows of itself in it, nor gather the grapes in it of your vine undressed. For it is the jubilee, it shall be holy unto you. Ye shall eat the increase thereof out of the field. In the year of this jubilee, ye shall return every man unto his possession. And if ye sell aught unto your neighbor, or buy aught of your neighbor's hand, ye shall not oppress one another. According to the number of years after the jubilee, you shall buy of your neighbor, and according unto the number of years of the fruits, he shall sell unto you. According to the multitude of years, you shall increase the price thereof, and according to the fewness of years, you shall diminish the price of it. For according to the number of the years of the fruits, he sells unto you. Ye shall not therefore oppress one another, but you shall fear your Elohim, for I am Yahuwah Elohim. Wherefore ye shall do my statutes, and guard my judgments, and do them, and ye shall dwell in the land in safety. And the land shall yield her fruit, and ye shall eat your fill, and dwell therein in safety. And if ye say, What shall we eat the seventh year? Behold, we shall not sow, nor gather in our increase. Then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, and it shall bring forth fruit for three years. And ye shall sow the eighth year, and eat yet of old fruit until the ninth year, until her fruits come in, ye shall eat of the old store. The land shall not be sold forever, for the land is mine, and ye are strangers and sojourners with me. And in all the land of your possession ye shall grant a redemption for the land. If your brother be waxen poor, and has sold away some of his possession, and if any of his kin come to redeem it, then shall he redeem that which his brother sold. And if the man have not to redeem it, and himself be able to redeem it, then let him count the years of the sale thereof, and restore the overplus unto the man whom he sold it, that he may return unto his possession. But if he be not able to restore it to him, then that which is sold shall remain in the hand of him that has bought it until the year of Jubilee. And in the Jubilee it shall go out, and he shall return unto his possession. And if a man sell a dwelling house in a walled city, then he may redeem it within a whole year after it was sold. Within a full year may he redeem it. And if it be not redeemed within the space of a full year, then the house that is in the walled city shall be established forever to him that brought it throughout his generations. 
it shall not go out in the jubilee. But the houses of the villages which have no wall round about them shall be counted as the fields of the country. They may be redeemed, and they shall go out in the jubilee. Notwithstanding, the cities of the Leviim, of the houses of the cities of their possession, may the Leviim redeem at any time. And if a man purchases of the Leviim, then the house that was sold and the city of his possession shall go out in the year of Jubilee, for the houses of the cities of the Leviim are their possession among the children of Yasharel. But the field of the suburbs of their cities may not be sold, for it is their perpetual possession. And if your brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with you, then you shall relieve him, yea, though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with you. Take no usury of him, or increase, but fear your Elohim, that your brother may live with you. You shall not give him your money upon usury, nor lend him your victuals for increase. I am Yahuwah Elohikum, which brought you forth out of the land of Mitzrayim, to give you the land of Kinaan, and to be your Elohim. And if your brother that dwells by you be waxen poor, and be sold unto you, you shall not compel him to serve as a bondservant, but as a hired servant, and as a sojourner, he shall be with you, and shall serve you unto the year of Jubilee. And then shall he depart from you, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family, and unto the possession of his fathers shall he return. For they are my servants, which I brought forth out of the land of Mitzrayim. They shall not be sold as bondmen. You shall not rule over him with rigor, but shall fear your Elohim. Both your bondmen and your bondmaids, which you shall have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begat in your land, and they shall be your possession. And ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen forever. But over your brethren, the children of Yasharel, you shall not rule one over another with rigor. And if a sojourner or a stranger wax rich by you, and your brother that dwells by him wax poor, and sell himself unto the stranger or sojourner by you, or to the stock of the stranger's family, after that he is sold, he may be redeemed again. One of his brethren may redeem him. Either his uncle or his uncle's son may redeem him, or any that is nigh of kin unto him of his family may redeem him, or if he be able, he may redeem himself. And he shall reckon with him that bought him from the year that he was sold unto him, unto the year of Jubilee. And the price of his sale shall be according to the number of years, according to the time of a hired servant shall it be with him. If there be yet many years behind, according unto them, he shall give again the price of his redemption out of the money that he was bought for. And if there remain but few years unto the year of Jubilee, then he shall count with him, and according unto his years shall he give him again the price of his redemption. And as a yearly hired servant shall be with him, and the other shall not rule with rigor over him in your sight. And if he be not redeemed in these years, then he shall go out in the year of Jubilee, both he and his children with him. For unto me the children of Yasharel are servants. They are my servants, whom I brought forth out of the land of Mitzrayim. I am Yahuwah Elohikam. Vaikra, Leviticus chapter 26. Ye shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land, to bow down unto it, for I am Yahuwah Elohikam. Ye shall guard my Sabbaths, and reverence my sanctuary, I am Yahuwah.